Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to use XG both model to predict the type of the flowers and uh, the data set we're going to use Aris. Uh, let's load the libraries first and load the data. We can also check the data as we can see here. Uh, the last column the species, and that's the type of the uh, flowers. We have the lens and the width. There are one, two, three, four, four columns based on the dimensions. You're going to predict what species or type of the flowers it belongs to. So uh, we check the levels and it has the three levels as we expected. And uh, the species, we can separate the the data on the dim these are four dimensions uh, from the uh, species the last column uh, the we can create a label and uh, plot the label as we can see here uh, shortly one two three it's a fairly evenly distributed and uh, uh, why we uh, minus uh, we have a minus one here because even if we have a three uh, a type of um, species, uh, one, two, three, uh, and it needed to start from a zero, one, two, so it can uh, meet the uh, format uh, fitting into the model. We can almost uh, like uh, delete the uh, last column, a uh, column, uh, forgive me, and then uh, we check it again. We have a uh, the data and uh, the label is uh, separated from the the data. The data actually the data frame it's uh, like a matrix. It, it requires uh, somehow you transform your data into a format very similar to a matrix. Let's run it. That's a number of the um, data sets, 150 rows. We created a training index. And we were we're going to uh, separate the uh, training uh, from the rest of the uh, data set, uh, so can, we can have the training and the test the data set. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more additional transformation before we can feed the data into the um, XG boost uh, model. As we can see here, there are a function transform into a matrix here. The label and then the data, they are separately. So uh, let's run these two lines. And here we're going to define the model parameters here. We have a three classes as we can, as we already knew here, uh, because it is a tree based uh, uh, model, we're going to use the list of the uh, parameters here. Let's uh, simplify it. Uh, we are going to use a soft probability and the multi class uh, lock loss. So, as we can see, we have a uh, three classes here. So, this is um, let's run it again, make sure we run it before we can feed the parameters and the data into the model. Here it is the model here. Uh, we feed the parameters as we um, knew, and we can also create a watch list here. We just run the model quickly here. Well, it's a uh, uh, fairly uh, fast. Uh, let's check the model. It looks like there's uh, no warnings, and it gave a size here. Uh oh, uh, let's. Uh, continue to run this and um, uh, we're going to check uh, quickly uh, how good or the uh, what's the performance of this we're going to use a uh, simply first uh, use the table uh, function uh, to run this our factor predict not found oh right we have to run the uh, prediction sorry I skipped uh, this section let's go back Let's make the uh, prediction uh, use the model we just built. It also need a little bit transformation here. Uh, we are going to transform it 
into a data frame and we can also and and transform back the species back to the uh, predictions uh, right now it's like a zero one two here uh, we're going to um, choose uh, the maximum probability from uh, these three classes if it has the maximum uh, value it is going to be uh, selected as the uh, prediction here that's all these lines uh, means um, if you have time you can um, uh, go through it uh, quickly and um, well and that's going back to uh, the label as we um, uh, build from the beginning. Let's use the table function quickly check how well it is. And that's the size of the lens and that's not match um, the same lens as a factor. So we are running into some problems. Uh, not a hundred percent sure what it is. Uh, but let's just say it's a training species um we have this we can run this separately just to make sure we have the uh, correct uh, syntax oh that's the problem see not all right okay uh well i guess we have to run this load the uh, aris uh, data set again remember uh we uh, from the beginning we have this uh, step uh, we delete this so if we want to reuse it again uh, it does not and right now the errors data it does not have this column anymore so be careful let's reload the data set again and run it quickly uh, well as we can see in the diagonal 16 11 and um, uh, 18 these uh, 45 predictions are all correct uh, let's use a correct uh, package to uh, show uh, the results again as we can see it is um, uh, accuracy is a uh, hundred percent well uh, hopefully this will uh, give you some hints uh, how to use uh, uh, XGBoost.